Welcome back to our interview segment. And of course, as mentioned earlier, we're speaking to the Kenya Hockey Union men's and women's Premier League top scorers of the season that was 2023-2024. And I'm speaking to Festus Onyango, Blazer for Butali Warriors, as well as Maureen Okumu, who turns out for Blazers, formerly Telcom. Karibuni Sana on Touchline. Thank you very much. Yes, indeed. And maybe a general question about how your season was. What was so important, uh, the factors that were behind your sterling performance going on to top score in the league, Maureen? Oh, the major factor that uh, I put in was majorly focusing on uh, consistent training throughout mm -hmm. the season. Because, mm -hmm. uh, again, without training, the set goals, mm -hmm. uh, you can never achieve them. So consistency in training mm -hmm. and just doing more and more each day. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and uh, first as consistency in training, sometimes it gets tired, right? <laughs> yeah, it gets tiring uh, given that hockey is not the only thing that we do. Mm -hmm. We do hockey as a maybe an amateur sport. So hockey is not part. professional. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, it becomes tiring because then you have to attend to your day job. Mm -hmm. Uh, what brings food to the table, mm -hmm. then attend to hockey in the evening. So mm -hmm. it gets tiring, but over time we've uh, managed to learn how to balance mm -hmm. the two, yes. Mm -hmm. Maureen, would you talk about what, um, you know, what's professional to you? What, um, what, what else you, 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 you handle apart from hockey when you have to balance yeah, and I become the top scorer? You know, that's pride. Other than hockey, mm -hmm. um, into coaching as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's this play ball that uh, uh, I work uh -huh. for. Uh -huh. It uh, entails uh, basically all sports skills. Uh -huh. uh, uh, hockey, football, uh -huh. athletics, and everything. Uh -huh. So uh, other than hockey, I'm also into something else that brings food to the table. Mm -hmm. uh, and first, as of course, you're in the bar. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> when I'm not in the field, I'm... Um, more or less at court, in uh -huh. the court I'm an advocate. Uh -huh. So from Monday to Friday, I'll uh, always be in court. Then I play hockey in the evenings and in the mornings. In the mornings, a bit of uh, physical fitness, and uh, in the evening, we do play. Then on the weekends, then we can get time to attend our matches. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And for you, for you, it's been um, you've been on a on a on a on a streak in the last five or so seasons. Nobody has scored more goals than you. Yeah, um, I thank my teammates first of all because uh, all the goals that I end up scoring, the ball comes from a teammate, which is an assist for yeah. them. So without them, then this feat would not have been possible. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, just as Maureen has said, uh, when the season begins, we normally set our target mm -hmm. as a player and as a team. So f uh, as an individual, I usually um, set my goals and the aim is no one else to get closer to me, I always set a, a, a better target mm -hmm. than what happened uh, the previous season. So as we are even preparing, we are in our pre-season. Mm -hmm. We are starting our league soon, uh, probably in May. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I'll be setting my targets for the oncoming season mm -hmm. after we've gotten a, a conclusive uh, information from mm -hmm. the union mm -hmm. on the mm -hmm. coming season. Yes, yes and uh, for Maureen, the season, how has it been? You, uh, Blazers, coming back to reclaim the title, of course, wrestling it from uh, from from uh, Strathmore, right? Yeah. Who had won it last year. How how was the campaign? Uh, previously, it pinned us uh, the fact that uh, Strathmore took it from us for because we had it for the longest period. Yes. So it was like uh, because uh, they they were the better side, mm -hmm. that I would say because as they, by the time Corona kicked in. Uh, you know, you understand a team that some sponsored. So now mm -hmm. you're not, you're not uh, like for you to have your trainings. Mm -hmm. It's tough. Unlike the Strathmore, which is a university. So most of the time they would meet uh, in school and they would uh, conduct their training, right? Yes. So us, we never had that opportunity to train. Hence, we, we like, most of us ended up not showing mm -hmm. up for the mm -hmm. league that season. Mm -hmm. So that's I, I would say that's where we lagged mm -hmm. behind. Then uh, it was a big challenge. So we had to go back to the drawing board and talk to ourselves. We had a meeting mm -hmm. with ourselves and said, no, we can't just lose whatever we've had for mm -hmm. the longest period of time. So we had to like fight back and mm -hmm. have the trophy back with us, mm -hmm. which took us really hard time to get. Yes. So 
but we managed, but it was really tough. Uh -huh. Yeah. And of course, this particular one sets you onto another continental battle. Mm -hmm. The title that we also has been elusive. And uh, was it this year, you know, the most recent uh, Africa Club Championship, it was won by a toss. Not really in a good way, right? <laughs> 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 yeah, I'd, I would agree that though, but we had no other ways but to agree to the decision that had been made. Mm -hmm. So it was not, the decision was not made by us, but the organizing body. Mm -hmm. So we just had to do what mm -hmm. we had to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And of course, uh, for... For, for Festus, the club was not able to honor to go to the continental championships, right? Yes, but of course, you turned out for the national team uh, during the Olympic qualifiers and a distant sixth in the qualifiers, not really um, a bad result, but not the desired result as well. Yeah, uh, the Olympic qualifiers did not go as planned. Uh, Honestly speaking, we had some a bit uh, of issues in our preparations. Uh, we lacked resources. Uh, the ministry tried to come in, mm -hmm. but uh, again, we need uh, build up matches mm -hmm. to uh, help us gain the confidence and mm -hmm. the experience to mm -hmm. compete at that level. Mm -hmm. South Africa, who eventually won the ticket to the Olympics, mm -hmm. if you can then, uh, fo if you follow their team, you realize that they play a lot of matches. Mm -hmm. So since we played them in, um, in October, mm -hmm. they've played about uh, 30, 40 matches. Mm -hmm. Kenya, we've only been uh, privileged to play four, three matches mm -hmm. at the All-Africa Games. Mm -hmm. So that difference mm -hmm. then comes into uh, to play a big role when we are meeting yeah. South Africa mm -hmm. as the we are champions of Africa. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think uh, going forward, uh, we need to prepare better. Mm -hmm. We need to uh, start our preparations way earlier. We need test matches. We need to go into residential camp. Mm -hmm. At that point, then we can be able to compete with uh, the likes of South Africa and Egypt, who are the perennial uh, Africa champions. Mm -hmm. And of course, the last time we were at the Olympics was in 88. Yes. Quite, it's quite, quite over 30 plus years ago, right? And Really, um, what was happening then that cannot happen today? Um, I cannot really pinpoint exactly where we went wrong or what has been going wrong, mm -hmm. but uh, if I can just then maybe give a guess mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. of the things I'm seeing now and mm -hmm. I've experienced as a player mm -hmm. in the national team. Mm -hmm. The first thing is um, our playing surface. Mm -hmm. The one uh, at City Park, the one that is um, owned by the state, mm -hmm is dilapidated yeah. it is in it is actually not yeah. recommended to be played on yeah currently and closed uh, undergoing uh, renovations uh, yes. right mm -hmm. um it, <coughs> it should be undergoing renovations as we speak yes. but uh, no works have started yet and uh, that is why w one of the reasons why uh, we've taken long to begin the new season because mm -hmm. there is still um discussions between the Kenya Hockey Union and stakeholders, mm -hmm. that being clubs, mm -hmm. on where we are going to play, mm -hmm. the uh, issue of uh, financing. Wh the whether teams should pay for Simba Union. Yes, all you know? that. Yeah, mm -hmm. So that becomes a very big issue. And uh, then I think it's also uh, the gap between the 88 squad, Olympic squad, and uh, the 2024 mm -hmm. team, mm -hmm. because then mm -hmm. If we do not have a proper surface, then mm -hmm. the first challenge at the competition becomes the playing surface yes, itself. And so and that's so basic, right? Yes, that's mm -hmm. basic. So if they, if you are fighting against South Africa, we are also fighting against the surface, which yeah. becomes a tall order yeah. because we we trained on a not so good surface. Mm -hmm. You come to a good surface, then it becomes then a limiting factor on the performance mm -hmm. of the team. Yeah. And and for the ladies team, they did go out against. Um, uh, Nigeria in the semi-finals was that expected? Quite a disappointing result for, for the team, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, it was uh, disappointing. Should I say disappointing or um, something? Because we were like we, this time around, we have to like make it to the finals. Mm -hmm. Then we get to the semis. Then in the first quarter of the mm -hmm. match, then mm -hmm. we concede. Then it ends in a one-zero mm -hmm. loss. Mm -hmm. But uh, I would say that we really tried considering uh, the previous uh, competitions that we've had, because mm -hmm. most of the time our rivals, mm -hmm. Ghana, used to like beat us, and we never. The, I think since I began playing, mm -hmm. 
Ghana has been beating us like every single tournament, but the previous one, the Olympic qualifiers, mm -hmm. I think we beat them twice mm -hmm. in the same competition, mm -hmm. yeah, which was like a big achievement mm -hmm. towards us. But uh, uh, we felt like we, uh, we let ourselves down when we were beaten by Nigeria in the semifinals. Yeah, mm -hmm. but again, we are proud because uh, we, we brought back uh, bronze home. Mm -hmm. So at least we achieved something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And of missing out on the Olympics, uh, South Africa going all the way to win it. Do you think that the domination by the South African has been going on for so long and no African team is trying to match or catch up with them? Yeah, they've dominated uh, long enough. Just uh, the same way my friend of Esther has said, mm -hmm. It all starts from uh, preparations. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't prepare well, mm -hmm. then get ready for uh, bad results. Mm -hmm. So it starts from uh, preparation. Because you'll find we, we are meant to go to a tournament like in four months. Mm -hmm. Then you find we start training like maybe in two to a month to the tournament. Yes. And uh, you, you have like two days slots of training in a week. Mm -hmm. Whereas the people you intend to compete against, mm -hmm. like they train, like it's in it's uh, something that is already in their schedule that every single uh -huh. day they show up for training they're in a camp and like as you have to like commute from your workplace or from home to training and when you get there you have limited period of uh, training so if you compare ourselves to our competitors uh -huh. we literally have less of uh, less uh, uh, opportunities of matching them uh -huh. yeah mm. plus again the facilities that we have like you you you, you find our competitors they have like every single uh, facility that uh -huh. they need mm -hmm. and like us mm -hmm. uh, the tar from the tar from uh -huh. the f equipment and all that you find some of us are unfortunate mm -hmm. it's unfortunate that some of us lack such so if only something can be done towards the facilities and training schedules and all that then I think we'd stand a, a better chance of matching our competitors or mm -hmm. and, and the sort no no, yeah. no no level playing field and um, first as that requires that all the same with no level playing field, you still got to get to the field. So what does it require? The mental strength? Because you've been able to go along and post impressive results, you know? Yes, I think uh, Kenyans are very resilient mm -hmm. as, as just as a nature, as part of us. So you find that uh, even with our struggles in preparations, then we still get to compete at this level. And uh, these other teams do not outperform us totally most of the time because then we are able to then um, do much with what we have. Mm -hmm. So uh, like South Africa, for example, mm -hmm. uh, they have Astro Tufts in almost every school, every high school. Mm -hmm. So then you find that it becomes very easy for them to mm -hmm. develop their hockey from the grassroots mm -hmm. level mm -hmm. um, coming into the national team. Uh, whereas for us, then it becomes almost a competition between the men's team and the ladies' team mm -hmm. on who has access to City Park mm -hmm. and at what times. Then it also becomes a, a big challenge when we are having our national team preparations running concurrently with the, with the league because mm -hmm. then there is conflict of interest amongst the players mm -hmm. and the clubs and the, the national team because you find that uh, Butali wants Festers to train at Butali because we are having a game over the weekend mm -hmm. and the national team also expect festers to appear for training because mm -hmm. we have a national assignment mm -hmm. coming up mm -hmm. so there's no harmony there's no harmony mm -hmm. and uh, i think these are some of the issues that the union needs to address mm -hmm. going forward yes and we also have to give um the cs ababu namwamba his flowers mm -hmm. he's been trying lately we've uh, gotten to the tournament uh, two days, three days before mm -hmm. we, we are able to acclimatize with the, the place and maybe play a friendly or two. At least that helps us going into the tournament. Unlike uh, previous times when we got there on the day of the, of the tournament and we had to play a few hours after lighting from our flight. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. And um, let's now go to your, your, your personal journeys, right? Yes. And uh, for, for, for Maureen, I think you've only played for one club, right? That's Blazers and went abroad in 2019 where you spent a season. Do you remember when you made your debut for the, in, the, in the Premier League and were you ready? Yeah, I think I made my debut in 2014, mm. uh, around, was it in December, just when I concluded high school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's when I was ready. 
Yeah. You 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 are straight from school. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah what and and you made you went into the Blazers. How how was your experience in the first few matches in the, the top flight? Oh, uh, it wasn't that easy because at the same time I got uh, really uh, experienced players, and uh, most of them were like. Like, let me say, uh, some of them were like my sisters and there are those who are like my mothers because there are those who are old enough. Yeah. So it wasn't that easy for me to get the chance to get into the team. But at the same time, I would say I, I put in so much work uh, that at, by the time the ne next season, because I got in when the season was like ending. Mm -hmm. So by the time the next season was commencing, mm -hmm. I was like, mm -hmm. I made it to the team. Mm -hmm. So I think I, w I just uh, worked smart towards making my way into the team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah and, and then we went to, you played, uh, turned up for a German club. How was your experience there? Um, uh, 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 back there, uh, it was uh, not that uh, easy as well because when I got to the club, they were placed uh, fifth. But uh, because uh, we, I went with the other two of my teammates, who were Flavian Mutiva and uh, Lilian Aura. So mm -hmm. when we got the team at uh, fifth place, we ended up like leaving the team when it was second. We used uh, the strength we had to make sure the team was where it m was meant to be because. Uh, there we went like we were being paid. So if someone employs you, that person would expect you to Perform. like deliver, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we had to do what we had to do mm -hmm. so that we make sure the team gets somewhere mm -hmm. other than leaving it from where it was mm -hmm. because they had, uh, they put in their resources to make sure mm -hmm. we were like, we were comfortable mm -hmm. in our stay there and we got everything that we needed. Mm -hmm. So our, our stay there was not bad. It was like it was mm -hmm. all good. Yeah. It did not guarantee you another another ex the extension of the deal um like uh, our stay there expired of which they were willing to extend but again uh, at the embassy they were like we had to come back mm -hmm. to reapply for the visas mm -hmm. then we get back but unfortunately we, we are uh, Flavian and I and I never got the chance to get back because uh, the coach who was uh, the men's team the ladies team mm -hmm. happened to go to another Team. Yeah. yeah, so the new coach who came in was like... Had his own plans. Yeah, he uh -huh. had his own plan. So, uh -huh. yeah, but I'm um, looking forward to getting another chance to go. Yes, yeah, indeed. Yeah. Uh, great. And now uh, for, for Festus, you did make your debut in Ghana for the national team. Yeah, I made yeah. my debut in Ghana in 2016 mm -hmm. during the World Hockey League. Mm -hmm. um, I can say that we performed averagely in that tournament because we finished um, second. Unfortunately, that was not good enough to propel us to World Hockey League mm -hmm. 3. Mm -hmm. So Ghana, who are the eventual winners, then proceeded to World mm -hmm. Hockey League 3, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. And the most difficult medal you've won? Mm, I can say I can't pinpoint one particular mm -hmm. medal, but uh, I can say Kenya police has pushed us over the years mm -hmm. as Butali because uh, we consider them our arc rivals mm -hmm. because they've pushed us consistently and uh, mm -hmm. in the last decade besides uh, uh, Butali then it is only Kenya police and Strathmore who've won the league mm -hmm. so we consider them as our closest rivals and uh, as much as we respect every other opponent we always have to prepare adequately well for mm. all our matches. Mm -hmm. yes. And of course, as we wind up, uh, this season it could be one leg season. Yes. How, how is the team prepared for that mentally? And how will this maybe change the modalities of playing and getting points and being you know, into the game that much? Um, a one leg uh, season basically means all your matches are finals. Mm -hmm. If you falter at the start, then mm -hmm. you do not get the second bite at the cherry mm -hmm. to recover. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this means as we prepare for the oncoming season, then we have to know that each match is a final. We have to collect the maximum points from mm -hmm. all our matches. Mm -hmm. We'll be working towards that. And uh, with the new additions to our team, we are trying to blend in, play a few friendlies here and there. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, my personal target still being the, the top, top scorer, scorer and helping my team retain the league, yes. Yes, indeed. And for Maureen, will it be easy for you to retain the title? And what are some of the objectives of the club now into um, the new season? Uh, of course, we are looking forward to retaining the title because we don't have, we don't have any options. Mm -hmm. uh, because 
I would never want to go past where I've been because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at myself like a champion. Like I've been a champion and I want to remain a champion. Mm -hmm. So it's just uh, the training, the mentality again, just to focus on the coming uh, league. Mm -hmm. And we just hope that uh, with the facilities that we're still crying for, we'll be but here in time. Yeah, but we're looking forward not to play in them on, on Mara because I think it's the hardest place to play on. Mm -hmm. Like in high school, right? Yeah, because <laughs> you can imagine playing on Mara. I'm like, Yo, and, and your level, you've been exposed to some amazing facilities and all that. You know, your prayer is just like, if, if only such facilities can be constructed here in Kenya. Yeah. And, you know, and, and not teams being made to pay for Simba Union, you know, the yeah. federation should come in. Thank you so much, uh, Maureen and Festus. Thank you so Press much. Your time, but still, you've made good time for to come and share your stories, and we wish you all the best in the forthcoming season, right? Thank you. And Thank of you course, so Festus did finish the season with 19 goals, and Maureen scored 13 goals for the respective teams, helping them to the title. Of course, the new season 2024-2025 begins in earnest, and they'll be in the field. They'll be bringing you their stories and results in our in that particular season where it begins to unfold. Thank you so much, Maureen and Festus. Thank you again. for having us. Right, and stand by. We'll be talking to Ismail Changawa, then later on, the fans on. This is the touchline. Stay tuned. <laughs>